Tonight, it's Madden NFL Football. Super Bowl 61. It's the New Orleans Saints taking on San Diego. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy as it'll be the AFC champions taking on the NFC champions, the New Orleans Saints. Distractions. It's time to get this one started as here we go. Super Bowl 61 is underway. Yeah. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. Leading them out is the Austin, Texas native. down throw from Mayfield. He'll get this to his tight end, Troutman. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. He was a thousand yard receiver during the regular season and that's his first catch of this Super Bowl and he picks up the first down. A first carry now. This is Alvin Kamara. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run and it's second and four. This Super Bowl, of course, just a huge one for this head coach. The first time he's walked the sidelines in a game of this magnitude. And you know, I might normally ask the cliche, what's going through his mind right now? But maybe the better question, CD, what do you think of the pitfalls of being a first-time head coach in this game? Well, you know it's something that he thought about, Brandon, and he had to. And he was thinking about it long before he got to this stage. As the season progressed and he saw that his team was good, if he was smart, he started to make plans right then and there. Reach out to other coaches who've been there before. Find out how they handle winning, losing, handling all the ticket situations, travel, practice, all those things. And then trust your gut, make your best decision, and put it all out there and give your team their best chance to win. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game, first and 15. From the gun, Mayfield. Open man is the tight end, Troutman. Give him eight on the play, and it'll bring up a second down. Brings up second and seven at the charge. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. And he's taken down inside the 30. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front and linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. Hey. 
So after the run by Kamara, now another first and ten. Now a handoff here to his running back. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Eleven more on that one and another first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Now they'll toss it out right to Kamara. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Kamara on the five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. They'll try to throw here. Mayfield. That's caught. It's Thomas. And the Saints are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. Five-yard line. Try to pound it in, Kamara. And the Saints are going to have a first and goal as some good running there gets him down to about the two-yard line. Knock it on the door. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. And Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. And he takes it across and into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. With the first touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Saints take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. A long opening drive, but a very successful opening drive. We call that methodical, I guess, when it takes that many plays. Methodical and almost like a boxing match where you're hitting them with body blows. They can withstand them here. Look, they gave up the touchdown, but you don't feel like a knockout is there. But they keep doing that in the fourth quarter. That's where the knockout occurs. It becomes tough for that defense if they're on the field that long. We'll see if they can continue that in future drives. And it's good as the Saints have a 7 to nothing lead. A 10-play drive that time. And the capper came from Alvin Kamara on the touchdown run. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. So here come the Chargers as they get set for their first drive. And leading them out there, their 6'5 quarterback. I read something prepping for this game that he said prior to, and I think he really said it a few months ago, where he talked about he wants to have the type of season that at the end, He's buying gifts for all the guys who helped him along the way. And I know that the team wants to hold him to that and really get into his wallet. But that's what good leadership gives you. You know, at the end of the season, because you've done a great job, QB, he's usually the guy who springs for the good stuff. At the 25-yard line. On second down now, it's Reese. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for him. It's now third and eight. On third down, Rosenthal. He hits Baldwin right side. The pass. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was, the down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that, bring up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now a likely three and out to start. Yeah, I love the way they rallied to the football, got to it, and made sure he didn't give up much run after catch. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. And they had the touchdown during the last drive, and I'm guessing that you like the balance they had on that last drive. And I loved it. Forget liking it. Absolutely loved what they were doing because to be ahead of the defense that much where every play call you have, run or pass, is working pretty well for you. Makes you look like a genius. It really does. It also lets you know that your preparation was pretty good, and now the defense has to do all the adjusting. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. Here's Kamara off the draw. 
And he'll be close to a first down at the Chargers 44. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. Try the jet sweep here. And he'll be brought down at about the 42 by the wide receiver. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. A gain of two brings up second and eight. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. That's complete to Troutman right side. With a heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. Brings up third and three. Here's Kamara, try to run for it. And they're gonna mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. He needed three, he got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. You know, we might start getting some props here in the booth. You know, that one that says the D and then the fence that you put up next to it. How about that? They brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage enough to pick up that first down. Impressive, they were ready defensively for that jumbo set. Here comes the Saints punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And this is gonna be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. They'll begin the drive with Howard. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. Operating from the gun. Rosenthal throwing the out route and complete. It's Baldwin. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. And he is not going to get the first down as he'll spot this at about the 28. Just a two-yard pickup, and that should necessitate a call for the punt team here on fourth down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough at run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. On is the Chargers punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. yards that time on the punt and the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. They're out in front last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. An awful lot of congestion in the middle third of the field, but how about our defensive tackle right there? He didn't just hold the line, he provided some push and smacked the ball carrier down for a loss. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. Throw left side complete to Troutman. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And eight. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Saints seven, Chargers nothing.
They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Here's Mayfield. And he'll get this one underneath to Kamara. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the gun, it's a run for Kamara. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. From the 35 on second down, Mayfield. This is complete to Michael Thomas. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The second catch in the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They'll run. This is Kamara. And he's brought down. 17 more yards. They had 17 on the previous snap as well. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, Parker, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. Now Mayfield. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get that back to Allen, but it'll be second and goal. Leads to second and goal. They'll run it with Kamara, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Kamara, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, if that's is all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. Point after try, forthcoming. And it's good to make it 14-0. So that drive in total eight plays. And the capper came from Alvin Kamara on the touchdown run. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Chargers take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. The Chargers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. This is their third drive right now, maybe not about points, just about getting something. They haven't gotten a first down yet in this game. It's a mental barrier you don't think about until you go a couple of drives without getting a first down. Then all of a sudden it looms big. It gets harder and harder to actually attain that first. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off around the 37. And it's a huge return as he brings this all the way back down to the 15-yard line. That was a really nice interception. I think it illustrates the differences between playing man and playing zone. When you're in man, all you're focused on is the receiver in front of you. But when you're in zone, you're allowed to read the quarterback's eyes and go to the ball. That's exactly what happened on that play. The offense and Alvin Kamara heading back onto the field. It may just be the second quarter, but he's in his own well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, 
his name's going to be in the books, but it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that the means he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Brings up second and goal. Kamara trying again. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft, and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Well, they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Throwing Mayfield. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. From four yards out. And the Saints now at six to their lead. Boy, so if you are scoring at home, Charles, and God bless you if you are, but that's now three drives and three touchdowns. So in a baseball game, wouldn't that wreak havoc on your scorecard? Yes. <laughs> I mean, with all the action that's happening now, how they got here, whatever cliche you want to bring into it, they're locked into a groove, they're clicking on all cylinders. Bottom line, they're piling up the points. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. And it is now 21 to nothing. So that drive, four plays. And it all culminates in a Saints touchdown. Chargers, nothing. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Taking it about the one. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. First and 10 at their own 26-yard line. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. In the second quarter, they're down big already. He's struggling as well. They've got to find something here. He's got to find something on this drive. And sometimes you take on all that extra pressure on yourself and maybe you have to disperse it a little bit. Lean on some other people, lean on your teammates, find someone who can take the pressure off and get the ball in their hands for a while. Or this, if he doesn't, this is getting out of hand or it could get worse. The last run good for two, here's second and eight. From the gun, Rosenthal. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on, third down. Brings up third down and eight yards. To throw on third down, Rosenthal. He finds his man, Baldwin. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Three catches for him now in the first half of this Super Bowl. It's a first down. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. First down, they run with Howard. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. On the tackle. A gain of five brings up second and five at their 49. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. 
And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there was no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Operating from the gun, Rosenthal. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Line of scrimmage again to 37 as they line up second and 10. It's second down and 10. Throwing again. Rosenthal got his man complete over the middle. That's Bats. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. The gain of seven brings up third and three. They'll try to run for it with Howard. Oh, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down at a yard. This team doesn't mind running the ball in any situation, and I thought he was going to get the first down the way the play developed, but the defense closed in and stopped him just about a yard short. On fourth down, Anthony Lynn says let's go for three. From the right hash, this from 45 yards away. And his kick is indeed good. The field goal is... And the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. 21, Chargers three. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays, yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine-play drives pay dividends later with another nine-play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense. Alvin Kamara and the Saints set to start their next drive. And he's found the end zone twice, and now I'm guessing he's thinking, hey, let's find it three times. And you got to figure from the defensive perspective, how has he gotten there twice? What are we going to do to keep him out for a third time? How do we tighten things down? Because he and his offensive mates, they are really in sync right now. That boy showing how tough he can be to bring down, just fighting his way forward to pick up seven yards. yard line. A seven-yard pickup. Throwing on second and three. Mayfield gets this to a standout receiver, Thomas. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. 40-yard line. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. A throw over the middle taken in by Troutman. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 12 yards there, good for a Saints first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So that'll back him up five. Still first down. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. Following the penalty, it's Camara. And he's going to get across midfield and into Charger territory. Four yards there on the carry, gets it back to second and 11. Four yards on the pickup. Brings up second and 11. A busy night continues for Kamara. And they'll get him down here at about the 42. Seven yards on the carry. Make it third and four coming up. It's a gain of seven. Makes it third and four. Mayfield to throw it. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. 
Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. On first and ten, Mayfield. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Give him nine there on the first down completion. A gain of nine. We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays that target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. To throw again on second down, Mayfield. He throws and he hits the slant route to Thomas. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. And he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Kamara with his third touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Saints add on to their lead. Well, he wasn't the guy they were initially going for, but after going through the progressions, it worked. When you have plenty of people who can catch the football, you don't always have to go to your primary target, and sometimes that target was actually covered. Nice job coming off of that and getting it to someone who was open. And a man out of the backfield gets in for the score. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. That time, a nine-play drive. And it ends with a touchdown for New Orleans. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. At their own 20-yard line. Now the Chargers offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, Rosenthal firing quickly here, and that's complete. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. And he will find his man on the outside. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. A gain of six there on first. Brings up second and four. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Brings up third down and four. Operating from the gun, Rosenthal. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Ball hit as he throws there, incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. To throw again, Rosenthal. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and 10. On third down, Rosenthal. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. Behind the line of scrimmage.
So time perhaps for one final kneel down before they take this lead to the locker room. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we've come upon halftime in the big one, the Super Bowl. As we send you a stone throw away across I-4 to Orlando, there standing by is Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight, as we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. Thus far, this Super Bowl has looked less like a contest and more like a coronation. And to call the second half, let's get it right back out to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. At their own 27-yard line. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. And they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Second Defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion, and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was looking to get it to Baldwin again. Third down here. Brings up third down and six yards to go. From the gun, Rosenthal. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. 42-yard punt, six on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. And this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Staying on the ground on first with Kamara. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Alvin Kamara on the handoff. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Mayfield now. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. 
The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Mayfield looks to throw. This will be caught at about the six. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. To throw Mayfield. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Adam Troutman there to make the grab. And this offense continues to pour it on. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So this drive spans seven plays, and it all culminates in a Saints touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. First and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Chargers offense back onto the field. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Second and five. Operating from the gun, Rosenthal over the middle, and it's incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Brings up third and five. From the gun, Rosenthal. He'll find his man on the comeback route, complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. His second catch in the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. Well, maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I wonder if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, they have not looked particularly good all game long. But a nice throw there for a good game and a first down. They'll run on first down. Reese. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 11 yards there, first down. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball, but the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Running with Howard. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. The 37-yard line. A gain of five brings up second and five. They go with Howard again. And they'll have it in the red 
zone before he crosses over out of bounds. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Took till the second half, but finally a red zone opportunity here. First and 10 at the 19. Now Howard. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. A gain of two brings up second and eight at the Saints' 18-yard line. They run with Howard. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. And there was absolutely zero pressure on the quarterback on that play. Third down, and he has all the time in the world to eventually find an open receiver for a first down pickup. On first and goal, Howard. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. From the two now, second and goal. A gain of three brings up second and goal at the Saints' two-yard line. Try to punch it in with Howard. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. A gain of third and goal. Try to make that scoreboard at least a little more respectable. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the end? And this time he is in. Yes. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Chargers are able to close the gap just a bit. Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating what we have to make the call. They already had it lined up. Never even got to it. Point after here coming up. He gets it to go to make this a 35-10 score now. So that one a 13-play drive in total. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded right around the eight. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. At their own 31-yard line. The offense and Alvin Kamara heading back onto the field. He's already hit pay dirt twice. He's up over 100 yards. He is feeling good. And he's just zipping along today. Everything coming together for him. It's that type of a day that you see a back just kind of have a grin on his face every time his number is called. Because he doesn't feel like there are going to be any lost yardage plays. Nothing but big-time positive runs. Making the sideline grin as well. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Now he may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? field that's complete to his running back Camara and he is tackled inside the 40 not quite to the 35 the catch and run good for 18 and a first down and if anyone thinks they're just going to tuck their horns in and pull back off the throttle a little bit you can forget it even with this big third quarter lead I think this team's going to continue to take their shots downfield and there's another completion 
back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Mayfield. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Three yards the game there, second down. Brings up second and seven at the 33-yard line. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 17-yard line. That'll be a gain of 16. And it'll give him a fresh set of downs. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. His throw caught right around the six. And the Saints are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Going to the air again with Mayfield. And this is complete. It's Allen. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. From six yards away. As his guys continue to pull it on. As that lead just swells and swells. Look, this has been dominance in all three phases. Offense, defense, and special teams. So don't we have to give a lot of credit, not just to what we've seen today, but the preparation in advance, coaching staff, commitment by the players to the game plan, and being ready to go in this one. You're exactly right. Clean sweep. And boy, they're going to celebrate this one after it's over. And on the other side, this is the game film you just flush and never go back and review. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead will swell by one more. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result, and he opted for the touchback. The Charger offense making their way back out there. And it's becoming more and more apparent that this is just not going to be their night. That Lombardi trophy so close, but the expectations simply have not matched the results as they start on this drive first and 10. On first down, Rosenthal. Yeah, a quick throw here, that's complete. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. Ten yards. When you see zone defense, and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go, because he might wander into some tough coverage. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Operating from the gun, Rosenthal. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll get up near the 45, they'll spot it at the 44. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. At the 44-yard line. From the gun, Rosenthal. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. At the 48-yard line. Operating from the gun, Rosenthal. Throwing left side, it's complete. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. It's a big one there for the Chargers. 43 yards. At this stage, there's nothing left to do but to keep firing. And if you're a play caller, you may go off your sheet and use some things maybe you hadn't planned to in this game. Maybe that was one of them there that worked. Check 
from the gun. Rosenthal toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. Boy, how good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really on to something there. In this passing game, it just can't get off the ground. And that play, it wound up losing yardage. The offense on third down, they've hit on half of them, five for 10. This is third and goal. Back to throw again. And it's caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one yard line. A terrific job there to keep him out of the end zone. And now it'll be fourth and goal. Nice completion, nice gain. Great tackle. Really good tackle. Kept him in bounds, kept things going. What do you do here? That's the question. Let's see what they do. If they're going to have a shot in this Super Bowl, they're going to need this one on fourth down. They'll try and run for it. And he will get in across the chalk for a Chargers touchdown. A great play there. His second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Chargers, they're able to cut into that deficit. So they went for it from the one on fourth and goal, and they got it done. Is this the new NFL? This is the new NFL. This is the updated NFL, and I like it. I know that quarterbacks across the league have spent the entire offseason and even during the season lobbying their coaches to go for it more on fourth down. Let's go get it. Because nowadays, you've got to score points to win games in the NFL. You can't just rely on your defense to hold them. I think the quarterbacks want to eliminate field goals inside of 30 yards, probably. Well, listen, they have enough confidence in themselves that they can call plays and make plays that they won't need those field goals inside the 30. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. Alvin Kamara and the Saints set to start their next drive. And really a lot of guys you could highlight on this offense with how well they've played, but he's one of them. He's been spectacular so far. I'd say he'd be the number one, wouldn't you? Yeah. Because it's not just the numbers. It's, as you said, I think he said focal point. Well, that's what he's been, and that means he's created other opportunities because they've had to bring the defense to him. He's run it really well. He's caught it out of the backfield. They're trying to stop him. That means there are chances for the rest of the guys to do damage themselves. All right, I don't want to get too poetic here where they talk about, you know, the eyes being the windows of the soul. You know what else the eyes do? They see the open spaces on a field, and those eyes carry your legs to those spots, and that's what happened on that play. He saw a spot, an opening and went and got it. Well, he really hasn't ran the ball all game. Fourth quarter here, need a big play, able to pick it up. So whatever the eyes saw and created, it worked. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Ball carrier. The tackle made at the 44-yard line. A gain of a yard. They run it again with Kamara. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. The Saints on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This will be third and six. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And I know it sounds crazy. But they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where there'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Boy, another big play late here for an offense, Charles. It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long. And I would say that going along with that has been confidence. Because even if they had the right coverage, they've still dented them. And now it's been a real issue for him during this game. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. He's taken down at the 17-yard line. It's a gain of five. 
brings up second and five. 58 Mike, 58, 58 Mike. Oh, okay. From the gun, Mayfield. This will be caught inside the 10. And the Saints are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Over 100 yards receiving for him now in the Super Bowl. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. A five-yard touchdown. And this offense is running away with this one. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. And there's going to be a stoppage here. The booth wants to take another look at this potential touchdown. And this touchdown the will count. Is good. The extra point splits the uprights, the and that will extend this big lead. Chargers 17. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Take over first and 10 at their own 29-yard line. The Chargers getting set to go, and their Super Bowl hopes are dwindling here in the fourth. That AFC crown from two weeks ago is starting to seem like a distant memory, and this one just has not gone as they had hoped. 56, the mic, boy, 56, check. On first and 10, Rosenthal. It's caught on the left side by Baldwin. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. Looking to throw. Rosenthal. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. That one good for 13 and a charger first. First and 10 at the 44-yard line. Throwing on first down. Rosenthal over the middle complete. It's Bass. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Ten yards on the So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. It's now third down and less than a yard. From the gun on third down, Rosenthal. And a throw there going to be incomplete. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Baldwin with it over the middle. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. And no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. On first down, Rosenthal. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That one good for 13 and a charger first. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass, that's complete. And he takes it in for a charger touchdown. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Chargers are able to close the gap just a bit. There are several elements to a well-executed screen pass. This one resulted in a touchdown. It had all of those elements. Hey, you're so right, because you really need the rush to almost get to the quarterback, almost get to the passer. Then you've got to get the ball thrown perfectly, whether it's to the running back, the wide receiver, wherever the screen guy is. And, of course, the blocking has to form in front to get him downfield for the touchdown. 
And that will cut this lead down to 25. So that drive goes eight plays. And it ends with the Chargers getting into the end zone. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. At their own 31-yard line. The New Orleans offense set to take over. And they are trying to play it cool down on the sidelines, but they know that they are very close now to wrapping this thing up and letting the celebration begin. A Super Bowl title within reach now as they try to polish this thing off. Trying to run down some clock with Kamara. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Kamara, the ball carrier. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Again, it's Kamara. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 11 yards there, first down. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. And he's going to get across midfield and into Charger territory. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. 49-yard line. It's a gain of two. Brings up third and three. And the Lombardi Trophy is headed back to the Bayou. The New Orleans Saints Super Bowl champions. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name, Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs. You see the guys sharing the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little <laughs> bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them. A fantastic season. Super Bowl champs, the Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights for an entire season. And what a season it has been. Feels like we have been there every step of the way. Our entire crew doing a wonderful job. Thanks to my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. For all those guys, I'm Brandon Gunn signing off. We'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports.